comparing the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 with the Galaxy S4 Zoom. Both are pretty much camera devices, so camera phones to be precise. But the one on the right looks like a camera, Digicam. But the one on the left actually looks like a phone. So let's quickly uh, compare the uh, cameras. So the Nokia Lumia 1020 has a massive 41 megapixel camera sensor, effectively about 38 megapixels. Can take pictures at up to 7,152 by 5,368 pixels. Features Calcius optics and uh, it's uh, got the xenon flash here with the focus assist lamp the uh, pure view branding as well so that's the uh, nokia lumia 1020 so on the right side you have the uh, samsung galaxy s4 zoom which uh, actually has the uh, zoom lens so as you can see it kind of come, pops out and it uh, has a 16 megapixel sen sensor xenon flash here as well focus assist lamp and uh, both the cameras feature optical image stabilization. So talking about the sensor sizes, the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 features a 1 by 1.5 inch uh, sensor size, whereas uh, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom has a 1 by 2.33 uh, inch sensor size. Nokia is better in terms of the picture quality, but the Samsung would be better in terms of the zoom since it's got optical zoom. Um, but then uh, Nokia is uh, claiming that you can zoom uh, and uh, you can zoom into the photos after capturing it later on the uh, 1020 due to the amount of detail it captures so both the uh, kind of uh, record video at 1080p uh, and the nokia lumia 1020 actually features optical zoom uh, for videos and it also has a video light uh, for uh, videos so the front facing camera though so 1.2 megapixel camera sensor on the front on the nokia lumia 1020 and a 1.9 megapixel sensor on the front on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom is a lot bulkier uh, than the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020. It's uh, pretty big uh, in terms of the uh, size and it feels more like a Digicam uh, compared to the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 which feels more like a phone with a slightly protruding lens element on the back. Um, pretty well built as well, not plasticky. Nice polycarbonate uh, matte finish here. And uh, okay, also has some accessories like a camera grip and also a wireless charging plate. So let's quickly walk through the device uh, specs. So the uh, Lumia 1020 is about 149 grams in weight. Uh, slightly heavier than the 925, but heavier than the, uh, lighter than the 920. So the, the Galaxy S4 Zoom though, is really heavy at about 200 grams and uh, really bulky as well so in terms of the dimensions uh, it's about 15.5 uh, uh, mm in terms of the thickness this is rather only about uh, 10 so if you put the next uh, to each other so you can see that the uh, Lumia 1020 is a lot uh, thinner so uh, that's the uh, Lumia uh, 1020 uh, kind of uh, wins in the uh, compactness department and uh, both have micro sim card slots so you can upload pictures uh, from uh, wherever you are and uh, both are actually AMOLED screens uh, this is a Samsung AMOLED screen on the uh, Galaxy S4 Zoom this is a clear black uh, LCD uh, AMOLED uh, on the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 so uh, the resolution on the uh, Lumia 1020 is about 1280 by 768 pixels, uh, whereas the S4 Zoom has a really poor uh, resolution of about 960 by 540 uh, on a 4.3 inch screen, whereas this is a 4.5 inch on the Lumia 1020. Both are Corina Corning Gorilla Glass 3s. The Nokia Lumia 1020 features Dolby Digital Audio and Dolby Digital Plus Audio, and it has about 32 GB of storage, whereas only 8 GB of storage on the S4 Zoom. Uh, only the uh, S4 Zoom supports micro SD card slots, the Lumia 1020 doesn't support the micro SD card slots. Uh, so it has about 2 GB of RAM and it's powered by a dual core Snapdragon S4 processor. This has about uh, 1.5 GB of RAM, uh, 8 GB of onboard storage, and it's powered by a dual core processor. And uh, this supports LTE networks uh, as uh, but this supports on HSPA networks, there's a different LTE model for the S4 Zoom. So that was a quick comparison between the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 and the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom.